Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'm going to show you some massive performance improvements that .NET 8 brings over .NET 7 and especially over .NET 6, so if you're back in the LTS version, you really really want to upgrade and actually show you some performance problems that enums have in general and how you can fix them even if you don't move into .NET 8. Now, I've already talked about the enum performance problems and in this video I will do a bit of a recap to understand exactly what those problems are, but I will leave a couple of videos in the description if you want to check later what that problem is in depth and why it really happens behind the scenes. Now, .NET 8 does fix most of that, so in this video we're going to take a look at all that. If you like that content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe for more training, check out my courses on domtrain.com. Alright, so let's see what I have here, and I'm going to start by just showing you what methods were affected by performance and are being fixed now in .NET 8. Now, I have an enum here representing a day of the week. I'm not using the day of the week enum that .NET has built-in intentionally, I'm going to explain why later in the video. But for now, let's first get a Monday. So we're going to say day dot Monday, we're going to start with that. Now, the simplest thing you might want to do with an enum is actually get its string value. There's many cases where this might be relevant, and this happens by default in things like logs or anything that automatically converts an enum to some text representation. You won't get the int value, but you're going to get the string. So if I say here to string, you're going to get that by saying to string, and this will print Monday. Another thing you might have to do when you're working with enums, especially in a dynamic context, is to check if that enum is defined. So using the enum.isDefined method, Getting the name of the enum using the enum.getName method is another one. Then you can actually get all the names and all the values in an enum by using the getNames and getValues methods over here. And then last but not least is the tryParse method to try to parse an enum based on its string value and then get out the date and check if it was passed or not. So all of these methods are things you will probably be using if you are dealing with enums in any way. Now, here's the problem with these methods. Up until .NET 6, they were really, really slow and not very memory efficient as well. And .NET 7 made a pretty significant improvement compared to what we had. But the problem was that it was still not good. And this led to people like Andrew Locke, for example, who has an excellent blog talking about many .NET things, to make NuGet packages like the following one over here called NetEscapades enum generator, which actually allows you to do the following. It allows you to go to your enum and add an enum extensions attribute. And what that does behind the scenes is it actually makes a source generator kick in, which will build a bunch of different methods that are basically faster versions of all of these and more memory efficient versions, because it will just take that enum and try to optimize it. However, before I show you that, what I want to show you is the performance improvement we have from .NET 7 to .NET 8 in all of those methods. Now to do that, I'm going to go to this benchmark and this benchmark will run for both .NET 7 and .NET 8. It's going to use a memory diagnoser and it's going to check things like is defined, get named, get names, get values, to string, and then try pass. So all the methods we saw before, we're going to see how performance has improved between 7 and 8. Now to make sure that this runs correctly, I'm going to target both .NET 7 and .NET 8. So I'm going to do this over here and then I'll go to the program.cs, say return and then using benchmark.net I'm going to say benchmark runner dot run and I'm going to run my benchmark. So make sure this is in release mode. It is and then say run and see where we are. All right, results are back and let's see what we have here. So we're going to start with is defined. And as you can see, we have a great improvement around 10 times faster from .NET 7 to .NET 8 from 9 to one nanoseconds, then similar improvements in the get name one, then get names is not that big of a jump from 14 to nine, but get values goes from 319 nanoseconds to just 22 and the memory significantly improved. Then small improvement in two string and try pass. Now, here's the thing about all those numbers. Yes, they are great. Yes, they show improvement, but they are not Perfect. And this is where I'm going to save a snapshot of all these results over here and then go back to my benchmarks. Now, what I want to show you is how much this performance could be improved if we were to use Andrew Locke's uh, net escapades and I'm generate. Now, to do that, I'm going to have to add the enum extensions attribute over here. And once I do, you're going to see that I get all of these new usages over here, which are really the source generated code for the partial classes and all the extensions generated that will analyze my code at compile time and write this code. So 
Is it this day of the week? Yes, 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 and whatever. Because that's not really what's going to happen behind the scenes with any of these methods. Now, if you want the technical details of how these used to be, I do have that link in the description if you want to check my other video. We won't focus on that here. What we're going to focus is once I actually add these enum extensions, what I can do now is have fast versions of all of these methods. So I'm going to say to string fast, for example, and I can say Monday to string fast. If I want to do the same for is defined, I can say is defined fast and I can say the name of my enum, so day and then extensions, and that's where the code is generated. So I can say is defined Monday and so on. Then I can get the names. So I can say names fast, day extensions, and then get names. I don't specify the parameter because it is based already on that type of the enum. And then same with the values. So day extensions, get values delete that and last but not least i have the past fast over here basically the same signature but i'm gonna say day one and day two here just to simplify things and that is it now i use the source generator again that new good package if you want to use it is called net escapades.enum generators over here and what i'm going to do is add benchmarks for that so benchmarks have been added so all i'm doing here is using the fast versions and i'm going to compare them to the snapshot i have from dotnet 7 and dotnet 8. let's go ahead and change this to return again and run those benchmarks okay so results are back so let's see what we have here the way i'm going to do this is take a screenshot of this bit and then paste it on that very scientific tool over here called um ms paint <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at this. So the is defined in .NET 7, 9.5 nanoseconds, 1.2 nanoseconds over here, but on the fast version, 0.73. So even faster and you don't have to upgrade in .NET 8. Now, interestingly enough, get names was 14 nanoseconds. It went down to nine, but the source generator is 12. So something happened there. And I think Andrew can actually optimize this even further because it's no way the source generated version is not faster than the runtime version so careful because this one is actually a bit slower now in terms of memory i should point out they're both the same both 80 bytes now get values from 319 all the way down to 22 and actually all the way down to four nanoseconds if you use the fast version same memory efficiency as this one over here the dotnet 8 so pretty fast but not as good as the source generated version and then the two string which is probably the one you're going to be using the most anyway from 11 to 7 but all the way down to 1.4 and no memory allocated over here so significantly faster over here now in terms of try pass i accidentally cut it off over here but it was 36 nanoseconds down to something like 20 whatever and this is now 7.4 again no memory in all of them so as you can see for four out of five you can actually use a source generated version not lose any functionality and get significant performance without even upgrading to dotnet 8. now why is microsoft not allowing or not providing an enum source generator to deal with this well i guess they don't want us to have two ways of doing the exact same thing it's ironic to say because c sharp has plenty of that but i would love to have a source generator by microsoft that actually provides this functionality which if they make allows them to tap into more potential features of dotnet that could be internal to fix all that so yes dotnet 8 and enums in dotnet 8 are significantly faster and more memory efficient however I will still link the source generated video down in the description because that's the one I would be recommended. Yes, the performance improvements are great, but they're not as good. But now I want to know from you, did you know about all these performance issues and have you used any of those libraries that do exist to solve them? Leave a comment down below, let me know. Well, that's all I have for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching and as always, keep coding.